past couple of weeks, Kirko has been working on the arcade game Chameleon by Jalico. Impressively, he's been doing all the work without a mister in hand and using only his phone. It helps that some of the work he's been doing has been on the beach. Regarding the game's progress, he's gone from getting the sprites working to even implementing sound. It's not a Mr. Core yet. That work will be done once Pirico has access to his Mr. again. Chameleon is an early Jalico game released in 1983. In the game, you control a chameleon whose goal is to eat eggs laid by hens. This week's PlayStation Core updates involves a great post by Robert, the developer. The post talks about the process of finding and fixing bugs. If this is something that interests you, then you can check out his Patreon page to get a very detailed explanation. To help you understand things, he goes over the details of the PlayStation hardware, which becomes relevant for a particular Grand Theft Auto bug. The post is for Patreon members only, but I do recommend supporting Robert. The work he has done and continues to do deserves it. We also got a new official release of the PlayStation Core, covering all the fixes and additions Robert's been posting since the last official release. A key feature of this new release is being able to use up to 8x CD speeds to help significantly reduce load times. Along with that are a lot of other bug fixes. Check out the Twitter post for a full list of fixes. We have more updates on the Saturn Core. While it may have been a while since the last official update, Sergey, the developer, still was busy with development on not only the Saturn Core, but also the 32X Core and maintaining other cores as well. So for the Saturn updates, the change log may look short, but once you read it, you can tell that a lot of work's been done. There are some CPU fixes, SEU fixes. The SEU is a math coprocessor for the Saturn. The Saturn's VDP-1 and VDP-2 video chips were also worked on, and the sound processor has had fixes done. The GitHub for the Saturn core also received some commits, and someone has gone through the process of compiling the core. Remember, these builds are not provided by the developer. They are not even in alpha state, so expect major bugs and issues. I provided download links to these test cores in the description. It's amazing the work that Sergey is doing in the middle of a war. Sergey also has a Patreon where you can support his development work. The Missile Command Core is getting some steady progress. Jimmy Stones posted a couple of tweets of his development efforts. Some graphical glitches were fixed and you can now get into a game and play it, but there are crosshair issues, making playing the game a lot more difficult. He did get some preliminary sound working, but its accuracy still needs work. Trackball support for Missile Command is starting to be implemented too, but some issues need to be ironed out before it works. Jimmy Stones is hoping the trackball support on the Centipede core will be portable to the Missile Command core. Missile Command is not the only core he's worked on. His other work includes Centipede, Moon Patrol, Big Dug, Pac-Man, Galaga, and much more. You can check out his GitHub page to get an extensive list of his projects. To help support Jimmy Stone's work, he has a Ko-fi page where you can donate to. Production is underway for Mr. Add-on's aluminum cases. Looks like he's going to have plenty of cases in stock once they are on sale. These cases allow you to passively cool your Mr. setup. Bear Mr. Kits will also be going on sale as soon as he receives a shipment of DE10 nanos. For these Bear Kits, you will have the option to choose digital or analog I.O. boards. On the purchase page, there is a helpful chart to help you choose which I.O. board is right for you. I would also add to that chart is if you want the ability to use two RAM chips. At the moment, no core requires this, but it is currently unknown if the future Saturn cores or Jaguar cores will require it. The kits will include the DE10 Nano, an 8GB micro SD card, power adapter, 128MB SD RAM, USB hub plus the USB bracket, power splitter, and switch. This is for the standard I.O. only. It's not included with the digital I.O. board. And you also get the I.O. board with your choice of the standard or digital one. Lots of updates to the PCXT core by Spark 2K06. Since I last spoke about it, several core updates have been made. Notable updates are MDA and CGA modes now work at the same time, giving you the ability to use virtual dual monitors. You can switch between them in the on-screen display. The developer is still trying to get them to work with HDMI and VGA at the same time, so you can use two real displays. 
Disney Sound Source and Kovac Speech Think support. These were low cost parallel port devices that offer digital audio support for PCs. There are many other fixes and tweaks that have been made, so check out the GitHub for a full list of changes. The latest official beta for the PCXT core is at version 1.5 and features several video mode updates and fixes. You can also download test builds in preparation for version 2.0 if you want to be on the bleeding edge. We have a new computer core of the Casio PV2000 developed by Flandango. This was an obscure Japanese computer released by Casio in 1983 with similar specs to the MSX but with a different sound system. You can download the core by just updating your mister. To get the core running, you are going to need to obtain the computer system ROM and copy it to the core's game folder and then rename it to boot0.rom. New releases for the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance 2 player cores have been made. For the Game Boy Advance core, a nice quality of life feature added is when the ROM size of a game exceeds the SD RAM module installed. The core then falls back to the built-in DDR3 memory of the DE10 Nano. An OSD option for allowing ROM hacks to use GPIO features. Examples given are real-time clock and rumble support. When the sync core to video option is set to off, a fix was added when starting the core. Gamma for 2x rendering was added, corrected color 6 to 8-bit color interpolation for 2x rendering, and the framework was updated. For the Game Boy Advance 2 player core, you can now play two completely different games at the same time. This is one feature that I found really cool, but couldn't think of a reason to use it. Then I read through the responses for the feature and it made more sense. On this post, you can see someone asking if it would be possible to play two different versions of Pokemon on the core and being able to trade and battle. The developer then responds confirming the feature. Even though it's a feature that I don't think I'll use, it's awesome to see others excited for it. Another addition to the Game Boy Advance Core is when playing the same game, a single player save game can be loaded for both players. And another core for an arcade game is currently in development. The core is for SNK's Prehistoric Isle. Right now, there are no color animations because the color palette is hard coded. The game is booting up and Darren O, oh, the developer, has shown how the splash screen looks at the moment. Prehistoric Al is a side-scrolling arcade shooter developed by SNK and released in 1989. Set in the 1930s, in the game, you take control of a biplane tasked with investigating the mysterious disappearance of ships in the Bahamas. You come across an uncharted island and further investigate it. On entering the island, you are then attacked by dinosaurs and other extinct creatures. The developer has worked on other cores like Zero Wing, Michibutsu arcade games, and more. If you would like to support the work, you can either make a one-time donation or subscribe to Darren O's Kofi page. And other miscellaneous Mr. Fixes and updates are, Paul BNL has updated the Game Boy, Game Boy 2 Player, and Super Game Boy cores. For all these cores, there were Windows Start Fixes, Custom Boot ROMs, the Mani 161 and Wisdom Tree mappers were implemented, and the frameworks were updated. Specifically for the Super Game Boy core, a delay to the included boot ROM was added, this affects Tetris DX, and a random freeze after reset of ROM load was fixed. Core developer Javier added a new game to the Athena Fighting Golf Core. The game is Country Club, a golf game similar to Fighting Golf, but with a few differences. And that's it for the other updates. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Kofi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you next time.